Ordinario to oxygen and that because I have a soup new channels. So I'm I'm Marlene Atlio. Uh, I'm a member of the House at First Nation. That's how I identify. I've been a member there for 50 years. It's the only real home that I have. Some of us have been homeless for most of our existence, and so it's some of the um, those, those are some of the reasons I'm interested in this kind of. I love the new words. There's so many new words. Intersectionality. <laughs> I used to talk about it as hitting all those those glass walls and you just recognize them by sort of the, the blood stains on them after a while. Um, my work, I'm a colleague of Cleese. Uh, actually, we started in the same year and uh, I've been on the road uh, perhaps a lot longer in community. And so a lot of my work started in community about uh, 50 years ago, uh, met and married an uh, Aboriginal male and uh, moved home with him and so that was uh, that was quite the experience because I had never experienced um, that before in Canada and so uh, my life made a major uh, had a major shift I'm originally from Germany so I do have a, a first language English is my second language and so we've always played with language um, I teach uh, cross-cultural and adult education in the BEd program that we have, but I also teach adult post-secondary education in the doctoral studies program. And I uh, had, a, had a shirt with a colleague of mine where we looked at the importance of first language valorization in the development of uh, uh, achievement and skills around first, in first, with First Nations students. And so uh, I'm very interested in that. Um, I've got all my grandkids on the West Coast, so I long for the West Coast, but it's really good to be here today. Thank you.